going to throw a bowl that has a split rim here. So I've got my clay on my wheel. I'm going to get it centered. Drill my hole, open out my floor in a nice curve. As soon as my outside finger starts to want to move, I'm done. Now, as I pull up my wall, I'm going to try to keep some thickness up here at the top. So I'm going to pull my wall up and out, but I'm not going to get it super thin and I'm not going to get my rim real thin to begin with because I'm going to split that. Now, I can still do some pulling on this wall after I've got this piece uh, shaped. I mean, after I've got the rim split, and I'm here just doing a decorative rim split. You can do a rim split or a split rim um, for a gallery as well, and you can do it the same way or you can do it slightly differently. Here I'm going to compress my floor with my rib, get the water out of that inside, and now I'm going to use my wooden knife to split this rim. So I want to make sure it's level, it's fairly thick, it's fair, it's not uh, over a thin wall, and uh, it's flat as well. And then I'm going to bring this knife blade down in the middle of that. And then if I'm careful, I can lean this out just a little bit. Now you can see why it's important that things are even. If that's uneven, I'm going to just end up cutting a piece of that off. I can, oops. Yeah. I can use my uh, my sponge or a chamois to, to smooth these edges here. And then one thing that I often do on something like this is I'll do a little decorative piece at the edge. I'll use the knife to kind of make little decorative lines there. Now obviously I can't do much more with the rim oops, on the wheel, uh, but I can continue to pull the walls underneath it as long as I don't pull up into that, uh, that section that I've made decorative. So here it's very soft. If I don't like that softness, I want it a bit more sharp, I can come back in with my knife or even with my finger. And the finger will leave a different kind of mark um, won't leave that little line that's happening when I use the, the knife. And there are, I mean, this is a basic idea, and there are a whole lot of variations that you can do with, with this sort of thing if you uh, want to do um, split rims, decorative rims, stuff like that. So I'm going to cut off some of that extra clay at the bottom. And obviously this one will need some trimming eventually. When I trim something like this, depending how that rim sits, I might put it on a piece of foam before I trim it, um, rather than putting it straight on its rim. Uh, of course, if the you can also mess with the height. You can actually leave this piece a little bit higher than this piece, and then it just sits on its rim like any old, any old bowl would do. Wire this guy through. And done.